All right, before this video even starts, do me a favor. Hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you're feeling froggy. Driving around, just got it nice and warm. 160s. Thank God the oil cooler in this motor, well, on this motor. Thank God the oil cooler on this motor was good because that is one thing I didn't change. But I got 162, 162 both, so good to go. Yeah, I'm not sure if, well, this clutch is absolutely gone. I gotta go pick up a new one today. It is a South Bend 3600, whatever. It's rated for like 900 horse and 1400 foot pounds of torque. It should be good for what we're doing. It's a dual disc, so that's good. Um, but yeah, no, I can't get this clutch to hold any gear in this truck. As soon as I get on it, it smokes for like three seconds and turbo lights. Clutch is gone. <laughs> Clutch does not want to hang on at all. This motor is definitely a lot peppier than the last one. I think the last one was just obviously it had 364,000 miles on it. So I think it was a lot more wore out than what we originally thought. But this motor gets down.
2500 RPM. This thing does not like to move. Clutch hates its life. And then I'm down here, you gotta pump it up. I think there might be air in it too, but I really don't care. We're gonna get that new one today, so. That was uh, 31 pounds of boost. And I'm sure this turbo has more in it, so. Alright, just to show you guys how bad these injectors smoke, I'm gonna lay into it probably about uh, just over half throttle, or half throttle, just under half throttle. I was just barely leaning into the throttle there. Which, I mean, mind you, this has to be expected with an RMG GT turbo, so. Alright guys, it's been a long time since I uh, posted, but a lot of new things been working behind the scenes here. Obviously new motors in the 6 liter, old motors out. There will be a teardown of that, but first things first, I don't know if you guys can notice, but I got a new microphone. Well, not really a microphone, but I got a brand new phone, so I had to get that fixed. I figured if I was going to make a return on YouTube... First things first, got to get rid of the old the old microphone. So the old six liter motors here, like I said, are going to be tearing down that. I know a lot of you guys commented and were like, you know, we want to see what the inside looks like. Trust me, me too. I'm really excited for that. But I don't know if I shared with you guys, but the new motor um, just got some new rings, cylinders are honed. There was no scoring in the cylinders. The cylinders were actually really clean. It's a 160,000 mile motor i believe but they're really clean no scoring so i went ahead honed them bought new rings same main bearings there's no scoring on the main bearings so i reuse those um studded obviously i got black diamond gaskets which is what i was told to get but a couple more things we got to do to it is clutch and uh there is a little bit of an oil leak but I do want to go ahead and update you guys on everything else since I'm here and there will be a lot more coming. Uh, you guys know I always work behind the scenes to get some videos to you guys. So don't get discouraged if I don't upload. We did get a new Ultra Bell for the mud truck. That'll be going in ASAP. But first things first, I do have to clean the shop. The mud truck has just been sitting in its spot for uh, forever. So... Let's go check that out. So there she is sitting with uh, everything just laying all around it because I was so discouraged at two o'clock in the morning when the bell housing broke, but that'll be coming up here soon. Um, that's about it for updates, I guess. All right, guys. So I hope you guys liked it. This is just the start of uh, a lot. I'm so happy this truck is it's back together and running hopefully this motor lasts us a while because honestly i'm not ready to put another motor in this thing that sucked it really did but we got the clutch on the way well, i gotta go pick it up but <clears throat> clutch is coming so hopefully we can hold some power then we got a bunch of content with the mud truck coming up i'm actually gonna go work on that here now it's raining which is gonna suck but but I still got to get these rings to break in on this truck. So I still got a bunch of driving to do. Obviously, I want to make sure everything's all right before I really beat on it. I haven't really beat on it, beat on it yet. I mean, I got on it, but not beat on it. So I still got to let the rings, <clears throat> the ring seat and all that. This thing had a ridiculous amount of blow by when I first started it up. So hopefully when the ring seat, that all goes away. But yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Be a lot more coming. Stay tuned. See you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.